guys, Bob Ostrom here, and today we're going to take a look at InDesign and setting up a rollover so we can play it back later in a PDF file. Now this is a really cool little exercise. A lot of people overlook InDesign, but it is a great program. And if you have it in your creative suite and you haven't really tried it out yet, try this little trick. I think you're gonna like it a lot. So what I've done here is I've gone ahead and set up a simple page. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to place a button down here that's gonna have a rollover in it and I can click on it and then it will take me to either a new location in the document or I could even have it take me to say a website or something like that. But for today's exercise, we're just gonna keep it nice and simple and we're just gonna to go to a second page. So let me show you the pages set up here real quick. So you can see I have my front page and then the page that I'm going to link to, okay? So first thing that we wanna do is we're going to go ahead and go underneath file and we're gonna place a file in here. We got three files set up. I set these up ahead of time. These are our rollover buttons. So you can see if you look through these, each one of them is a little bit different and I've got them set up for uh, normal click and then rollover. So we're gonna start with the normal one. We're gonna go ahead and just place that into our InDesign file here. And we'll just, uh, how about we just pop it in right here, just like that. Okay, and now the next thing that I wanna do is I'm head over here to my, uh, my side panels here and I wanna find buttons and forms. Now, when you're working in InDesign, you can obviously set up different workspaces and I've got the interactive for PDF workspace set up right now. So that will give me all the things that I need over here. Basically what I'm gonna be working with today, just these buttons and forms. So let's go ahead and pop this panel open and take a look inside. So now what we wanna do is we've got this uh, this little rollover button here selected. So I'm gonna go over to the buttons and forms panel and I'm gonna go ahead and click convert to button. And now you can see that I've got three different formats that I can use here, normal, rollover, and click. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select these. Now, when I select this, what I need to do is go back to my artwork, double click on it, and then place the second file in there, which was called rollover. So let's go back here and we're gonna say file, place, I'm going to find my rollover button right here. I'm gonna go ahead and open that guy. Then I'm gonna go down to the click button here. Again, double click this. We'll go to file, place one more time. Pop in the click. And then we're all set. Now the next thing that we need to do is make sure that we have a destination for this. So if we click on this button, we want it to take us somewhere, right? So let's go to actions. I'm gonna hit this little plus sign right down here. It's gonna say, okay, where do you wanna go? I'm gonna to go to the next page. I could also go to last page because there's only two pages in this document. Either one of these will work just fine. I'm gonna say next page. We're all set now. I'm gonna put this guy right over here. All right, we'll deselect that. And now the next thing I'm gonna do is just say file, export. I'm gonna go ahead and export this as a PDF, interactive PDF. You can see this right down here. I've got a bunch of different choices in here. So I wanna make sure that I stick with interactive PDF. And I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Now I've got the uh, PDF folder set up, so this will just go ahead and open up automatically once it's been saved. So let's go ahead and say OK. OK, so here I am inside of Acrobat. We're going to take a look at that little rollover button that we created. Let's see if it's working OK. If I roll over it, you can see there it highlights. OK, and if I go ahead and click on that, you can see that it changes colors. Let go of that. Oh, there we go. <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. Looks like it worked. All right, thanks for joining me here on bobteachesart.com for another InDesign tip. If you like this or you want to see some more like this, come join me at bobteachesart.com. Thanks. See you real soon.